Welcome to this tutorial uh, in which I'm going to talk about the UK Cat abstract reasoning test questions in there where you have uh, set A, set B, six of each uh, type and then you're asked uh, to which set test questions belong, A, B or neither and you need to look for the rule or pattern for each of the sets. Uh, now I'm going to talk about compound rules and compound rules are made from two simple rules uh, and they tend to occur when you have a situation where everything's looking uh, kind of similar but perhaps a little bit jumbled up as well. Because what we can see here is that we've got uh, groups of three circles or four circles mixed across both sets. So there's not a simple rule that, well, uh, if you're in three, you're in set A, if you're in four, you're in set B, because they're mixed across. Now similarly for these uh, lines here, we've got some short lines and we've got some long lines and again they're mixed across set A and set B. So it can mean that on the face of it that you're looking and you're saying well everything's looking pretty similar and there's no obvious rule jumping out of me. But if we uh, break it down into the uh, two elements of three or four circles and say that's an option and then uh, short line long line and that's another option then there are actually uh, four different ways that we can pair these up. We can pair up three circles with short line, we can pair up four circles with long line, we can pair up three circles with long line and four circles with short line. Now to make a, a rule for set A we could choose two of these so I could say that uh, three circles and short line is set A and that's what we're seeing there, three circles and short line, but we can also have that four circles and long line like we've got there, that's also a set A. And then these rules can be unique compared to uh, set B where we can have the other combination and that's what we see, three circles, long line or uh, four circles and short line. So then uh, going back to the actual questions here, I can uh, uh, put in the answers uh, four and a short line, four and a long line is A and uh, three and a long line is B. So to summarize, this is a compound rule because it's made from two simple rules combined in different ways. And the difficult part is knowing that you've got a compound rule and a clue is this sim similarity that we, sh we see across all of the shapes. And uh, patterns being mixed across uh, both groups. Uh, but I mean, to be honest, finding the simple rules can be very straightforward or it can be very difficult. If there's something a bit strange or quirky going on, I'd have a look at that. Uh, and often it is necessary to get counting the number of shapes or number of sides and so forth. Uh, let's have a look at this next example. Uh, once again, there is a similarity across the shapes uh, with arrows, rectangles and sometimes triangles, but no obvious consistent pattern. Uh, there are triangles in set A uh, and in set B, but not all the time. Uh, and then these arrows, they point to uh, red, to black or to white uh, rectangles. Again, that's mixed across the two groups. Uh, so we want to know what the simple rules are. And let's uh, think about uh, uh, whether we've got a triangle or not. That could be a simple rule, includes triangle or is uh, rectangles or squares only. And then in terms of uh, where the arrow is pointing to, it could point to uh, black or it could point to white. That can be our, our second rule. And once again, we can pair these up. Uh, if we've got rectangles and squares only and points to black, uh, that's what we see occurring in uh, set A. But also, if we've got includes triangle, it will point to white, so that's also a set A, whereas the other combination includes triangle points to black or uh, no triangle points to white, that is a set B. Uh, so now I can complete these questions. Uh, and that one's last one's a neither because we don't have it pointing to a triangle at all. Uh, once again, the variety appears to be equally spread across both sets, making this a likely candidate to be a compound rule. Uh, the simple rules in this case are fairly simple. I'd be looking at the arrow as uh, something strange, something to have a look at what it's pointing at. Now, noticing whether there's a triangle or not, that might not be quite so obvious. 
uh, and it might be helpful to, to be looking at the questions which you're set. That might make it more obvious that sometimes you're uh, given a triangle to look at and uh, sometimes you're not. Okay, uh, to download these notes, I've put uh, a link at the bottom of the page here. And I've also included five more questions of this type for you to have a look at. And uh, just having a look at them briefly, you might see that they're good candidates for compound rules. And uh, you might also be able to uh, start uh, thinking what the what kind of simple rules might be going on in those. Okay, good luck and uh, thanks for watching.